stars die, stars may live longer than humans do, ranging from tens of millions to billions of years, but eventually, they, do, come to the ends of their lives. The manner of a star's death depends on the mass it had after it finished forming, yet, the process of star death starts out the same for all stars, they run out of fuel, for much of its life, a star fuses hydrogen to make helium, when that runs out, then the star fuses helium, and then carbon. Each level of fusion releases more energy, which heats up the star. Heat generates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. When stars die, all the elements they created in their cores are scattered to space, to become part of interstellar clouds of gas and dust. Those chemical elements are seed materials for new generations of stars, planets, and life. 